U.S. and Russian presidents are talking, and they're talking about Ukraine. In a phone call, both leaders noted the necessity to find a political solution to end the bloodshed. This development on the eve of the latest Minsk summit. Meanwhile, battles are intensifying across the region. Rockets struck the main headquarters of the Ukrainian military in the east, some 50 kilometers inside government-held territory. A residential area was also hit. At least seven civilians killed there. Pro-Russian separatists deny firing into the city, but they say they are closing in on Ukrainian troops in the government-held town of Debaltseva. As CCTV's Kate Parkinson reports, residents are preparing for the worst. On the edge of the town, members of the Artemisk battalion are dug in. Alexei tells me they are positioned here to defend the town against separatist forces. Ukrainian troops are engaged in fierce fighting with separatists in the nearby town of Debaltseva. The rebels are on the warpath, eager to expand their territory. They launched a new offensive last month that has put Kiev's forces at a disadvantage. Because of its close proximity to Debaltseva, there is concern the rebels will soon advance on Artemisk. This quiet little town has been untouched by the war. Rebel positions are still out of range. No shells have landed here, and people are hoping it stays that way. I am absolutely sure that Debaltseva will remain a Ukrainian town, and we are all confident and have hope that the war will not spread. But if it happens, although I don't believe it, we are preparing the population for evacuation, preparing our defenses. Schools in the town are preparing children for the worst, teaching them what to do during shelling. They do drills like this three times a week. The children know exactly what they have to do. Of course, the children understand there is a big danger, and that's why their survival instincts, plus our drills, allow them to do all this carefully and in a well-organized way. With the war creeping closer, residents of Artemisk are getting ready to fight, flee, or hunker down. This is one of many bomb shelters in the town where preparations are being made just in case the conflict comes here. Officials say up to 50 people could seek shelter here. They've already laid out bedding. There's food down here. They've been checking the lighting and the ventilation. They even have gas masks. The people of this town say they hope the war doesn't come here. But if it does, they'll be ready. Kate Parkinson, CCTV in eastern Ukraine.